Hi, great student. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the scope of accounting for term one. All right. So now um, I'm going to lay down all the topics that you guys are going to do in term one so that you will know exactly what you should expect when you write your your test. OK, so for topic number one, you will be learning about. Understanding of bookkeeping. Okay, understanding of bookkeeping, guys. Uh, in this topic, you will be learning the background of what you did from grade 8 and the grade 9. You will be able to, at the end of this topic, you will be able to explain ethics you will be able to explain a gap principle okay so in other words guys this first topic you are not going to calculate anything but a theory questions you are going to be required to answer them okay that's the topic number number one okay so you, you must be able to know all those uh, to you must be able to list the gap principles and explain them okay and the topic number two this topic you will be required to do it only by a two weeks okay topic number two uh, is gonna be a sole trader okay what you need to know is that in grade 10 you are going to cover a sole trader is a business that owned by one person in grade 11 you're gonna cover a partnership a business that owned by two or more members then in the last one in grade 12 you will be covering a company okay so for now for grade 10 let's only focus on sole trader so which means that the transition a for grade 10 will be related to company that owned by one person okay so in this topic uh, guys we are going to do a preparation uh, of a statement like for example you are going to prepare cash receipts journal cash payment journal You're gonna require to prepare petty cash journal and also in this uh, the same topic you will be required to prepare a general ledger and accounting equation okay these four items that I have listed, guys, there is no way that you can write a test without them. This one, they are must. Accounting equation uh, is going to contribute almost 20 marks. So you, you must be prepared for, for, for this one. Okay. And also, guys, the other item that you are going to cover for this topic is a trial balance trial balance all right i know that some to some of you this item are still very new but it's not a problem guys accounting solution sa is going to teach you everything that has been listed on this uh, item uh, we are going to simplify it for you okay then the last topic basically is a continuation of this item remember when you do it in class they are firstly going to explain to you what is cash receipt journal what is cash payment journal cash receipt journal is when we receive money cash payment journal is when we have paid okay that's what they are going to do first then after that they are going to do what to do preparation the last topic basically is for preparation of this item 
So on the second topic is explanation of uh, what is actually happening. If we are talking about accounting equation, they must first explain the rule. They are going to explain the rules for you, asset, owner's equity, liability. They are just going to explain that under assets, on the debit side, we have increased, we have decreased, minus plus, minus plus. So that, that's, the, that's what they are going to do on, 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 on topic number two. They have to explain the rule. And after that topic number three, they apply this rule when they prepare accounting equation. All right. Then after that, you will be required to write a control test. Okay. A control test is what um, is going to contain marks that you are going to get when you get a report for for March. Okay. So the other thing, guys, is that you have to make sure that you have a questions and solution for these all items so that you will be able to know how they set this test and so on and so on so also guys make sure that you get the different study guide uh, that are going to help you uh, to go through this topic for term one also remember that accounting solution sa has a study guide which is costing on only a hundred rand. so guys we don't have a hard copy we only have a soft copy which is costing only hundred rand. hard copy is gonna be more expensive to print out because the study guide that we have they have more than 200 pages so it's gonna be a lot of expenses if we do print out so it's only soft copy by only hundred rand. and also remember our classes are also hundred rand per subject per month and you attend it twice each and every week you have to make sure that you join these classes guys so that if you stuck when you are practicing we will be able to help you because you will be just consulting on, on whatsapp and we assist you okay and also join the other subjects like uh, mathematics uh, economics mental literacy and business studies so that you will prepare yourself so i hope you learn something and now you know what you are going to expect when it comes to term one okay make sure that you also subscribe guys to this channel so that uh, you're gonna watch other videos that we are going to upload under these topics okay i'm gonna see you on the next video